there we are, up to date there now. So we've got the face, the critical part here is to have the brim and the side of the face turn. And all the, the features, the mouth, the nose, and the eyes are, are more or less set. Uh, even the mustache, the mustache is, this side here is uh, the same curvature as this side here. Uh, he's got his big chew in here if you want to put it in there. So now we've got to worry about ears. Now, in the diagram, uh, it's very difficult to see ears because you look at the side here, the elbow covers the ear, but if you look very closely, you'll see that there is an ear right there and there is an ear right there. So uh, how did I do that? In order to accomplish that, um, I, what I did was I uh, relieved wood on both sides here and narrowed it down. Because obviously the brim of the hat has to overlap the side of his face. Your hat head fits inside the hat or your hat fits it over top of the side of your face. So you have to remove wood on both sides. And if you put your fingers in there and you can feel the hollow, then you, you'll have it pretty close. And if you look at the diagram, I mean, that's exactly the way it is. See the curvature in here? So that curvature has to be created. So in order to do that, uh, I arbitrarily decided on where is the side of his hat. So let's go with the diagram we've got here. See where the hat is here. Okay, so I... Uh, I've got to create that the side of his hat in here. And remember that hole that everybody was concerned about? That, that is the hole that you can see right there. Okay. Alright, so the hat brim fits just below it. So here's the hole up here. So we've got a whole lot of material up here that we can play with. So the brim of his hat, the brim of his hat, it's going to be more or less level. So if you've got one side already set and not the other side, well you have to make them match, right? So I've got this side here, so this side over here would be, uh, I don't know, somewhere, will it mark? Somewhere there. That I've got to get rid of some, some of the brim of his hat to go back in. And then that's going to create the side of his Okay, so that then will dictate to me that I've got to take out some wood underneath here once I remove that. Okay, so I'm going to hollow out on this side, I'm going to hollow out on this side and create the edge of the hat. Now one more thing I'm going to point out to you. Where is the ear? Okay, I think the other diagram, yeah there. On the other side, the uh, diagram does show the ear, but there's something in front of the ear, okay? What is it? It's the sideburns, right? So leave enough material for to create a sideburn. If you want to have a sideburn. I, I, this guy, I think, deserves a sideburn, that's for sure. So if you look at the distance from here to the, supposedly the back of his head, okay, it's a long ways back, like that. Get a pencil out here, maybe it'll be better. So that right there is where the sideburn is. Well, look at the distance from here to here and here to here. So it sits a little bit further back than halfway. All right, so you can guesstimate at that right away and say that it, you know, maybe it's somewhere there and we're going to have an ear back in further. Remember that we've got material in here that we're eventually going to have to remove, and that'll help create ear in here. Alright, so you can adjust this forward or back. Maybe go with the where the brim of the hat's going to be. Uh, that will be pretty close to where the where the uh, we haven't curved the top of the head here yet, but th that would end up somewhere in there. Say somewhere in in that parameter in there, somewhere in there. Alright, so mark that up and, and uh, we'll uh, start to shape that and I'll just use a mostly a v-tool to get rid of that material and and get it set up Maybe do this side here first so that you it's wide open. You can see it better Okie dokie I'll I'll come I'll do a bit and then uh, come back on so there's one side and all I did was 
uh, took the, the V tool and came down and came back. And it's more or less a straight back cut. Um, it has a little bit of a slant coming down, but not much. So, you know, just take a bit of material out. Now, in order to create the bulbous section back in here, I got to take a bit off the side of his face. So, I just pick a, a gouge that has a nice curvature to it. Tuck, it, tuck the corner up underneath with the wood I removed there with the V tool. Okay, so don't be afraid to knock off some wood. I, I'm going to stay above the the mustache beard uh, situation here and just create the hollow in here. I'll do the same on the other side. So what that has done is now we've created a hollow in here, but we've made a bulbous section here by removing wood here. And in in the diagram, it it more or less shows that they, um, in order to create that ear, maybe the face is a little bit more uh, more wider at the front than it is as it goes tapers back in. And that's pretty much the way I did my finished carving as well. And likewise on the other side we've got a big hollow in here and it goes back underneath. All right, I haven't bothered to shape down here yet. Uh, I'm more concerned with creating that ear the uh, square for the ear. I'll pass this around. Okay, I want to point out a couple more things here. And in the diagram, you see the edge of the hat, and it kind of disappears. It goes a little bit wobbly in here, and then it goes to the back of his head eventually. But the idea I want to convey is that the ear fits over top of the hat. So you, the the ear has to sit proud of the side of the hat. So when you come down here, I, in order to make this work, I made it a little bit more wobbly, I guess we'll call it. So you can see how I curved up and then to create, to make, make sure that the ear came over. But next thing we're going to do is we're going to round over this hat here. So we're going to create this edge here. <clears throat> Remember I said I always leave the hat to the last? Well, in this particular carving it didn't work. So I'm just going to take a V-tool and I'm going to start establishing that, that notch going through there on both sides. Okay. Try and get that going. So Might have to narrow down the hat a little bit more eventually, but wheel or the brim of the hat rather. So then on the other side likewise we want to get this coming around. Okay so I'm only establishing the curvature. I'm not worried about where the brim of the hat meets and where the the, the top of the hat meets. We'll, we'll establish that as we develop the ear. Okay, so just get that turned just a little bit so that we can start to visualize that a little bit better. I'll round this over a bit. And it already is on that side, so that's good. So it's Round it over. Now, if you look at it, straight on, as well as up. So I've established this angle coming down here, and I'm going to create the edge there. So at some point or other, there's going to be a triangle here where that's going to meet. We'll hold off just for now, and we'll start working on the ear momentarily. So just as we're working away there, uh, one more step and you can see how this is really bulbous in, in this section right in the corner here uh, towards the arm. 
I want to create a flat spot there. I, in order to create an ear, I have to have a flat spot. So I'm just going to create a flat spot. So there's my flat spot. So you can nearly see the ear already started just by putting that flat spot in there. Okay. I've already got it on this side. So, so now you've got uh, two features I want to identify. First of all, I've already identified here. That's going to be his sideburn, and then his ear is going to be this section back here. So I'll mark the same idea on here. So we, we've got a sideburn here, and we've got an ear further back. Now I want you to look at it straight on. Decide where you're going to put uh, one the top of one ear. Okay, there it is there. So now eyeball it so that when you go over on the other side, you can find the top of the ear over here. And I've already done that. I've already... So, but look at it straight on. So when you look here, then you can you can position your pen. You know, there it is. And so I can position it, you know, so there. There's the... We, we go back and forth so you can find the, the other top of the ear. Now, if the, if the two ears aren't exactly right, you can... O Keep this in mind, you can only see one ear at a time. But one of the ears is hurting the other anyway. Well, you, <laughs> no, nobody, is, no, nobody is the same. That's what I mean, we're not symmetrical. <laughs> All right, so that's the, the top of the ear. So you've got to then decide on where the bottom of the ear is going to be. So you can eyeball that as well and, and, and figure out how big of an ear. If you want to have a bigger ear, well, then you move it down. You create a bigger ear. It's whatever size of ear you want, like the height-wise. So establish the top first. The top is the critical part. All right. And if you want to measure it out, measure it out. Uh, take a gouge and and place it on there. Uh, use a, a set of dividers, whatever, to uh, measure out so you get them more or less the same. Uh, I'm going to keep this uh, fella um, more or less the same. I'm going to shorten up his ear and use the that distance there. So likewise now we gotta get the back of the ear established so there's the back of the ear and the back of the ear and this guy here is gonna be in that crotch here and here so I'm gonna to have to likely remove some of this wood in here in order to be able to create the back of his ear. Okay. So I'll go ahead and I'll remove some of that wood there. It's just about coffee time anyway. I, so I went ahead and I uh, used my V-tool and I created a hollow through there. Don't worry too much about how it comes out at the back. Um, most of uh, this carving is going to be viewed mostly from the front anyway. But just the arm is still way too big, but I, I at least created the hollow through there. Can you see the hollow? Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about this side here because the arm is back. And so I should be able to create that ear before I have to worry about the hollow again here. Uh, and that's kind of important in so much as the ear is more prominent, it's going to be further forward, and, and I can reshape this the way the elbow and the hollow in here comes out as, uh, as time goes by. I don't need to do that right away. So I've got the square this is laid out for my ear. I've got the hollow in here, and I should be able to now uh, find the back of that ear and be able to, to do the carving in here. Don't be afraid to shape the, the top of the brim here a little bit, but uh, we're going we're gonna to make a stop cut through there very shortly. Coffee time? So I noticed a, a couple of the, uh, the carvings there didn't have this section here removed. See how the glove comes down and the arm? So this is a straight in cut straight down and so that gives me this hollow in here so that allows me to formulate this ear. This is the hard ear and, and as Wilk just pointed out uh, his ear is a little bit further back but you see what I did on my original one see you cannot see that ear in there and that was very hard to carve in there so on this guy here I've moved the ear for, further forward so that I can access that a little bit easier. All right. So on this side here, it was easy because um, 
remember we cut this down on a triangle here. We gave it that shape because we we realized that we had to keep some material in here for how the arm joins into the body as well as where the ear is going to be. So this guy here, it's very easy to carve that ear because it's going to be very accessible. All right, it's just a, simply a question of removing a bit of wood here and we can create that shape. So what we'll do is we'll do the easy ear, this ear, first, and then try and match it on the other side. And again, I'll point out that you only have to do <coughs> one ear, uh, you only see rather one ear at a time. So I'm going to raise that ear up just a little bit there and and there's my square for my ear. This is going to be the sideburn here. All right, so take my V-tool and I establish the parameters of my ear. So there's the, the top. And don't be afraid to take a bit of wood out. And uh, remember I had this a bit shorter. So I'm going to, there's the bottom. Now the back of the ear, I can remove some of this wood in here now. Whoops. And remove some of this wood in here now because I don't need it. I've already got my ears laid out. So I can get in here and remove some of this wood. And depending on how much hair you give them in the back, it uh, uh, also determines you know, the, the ear could be even partially covered, I guess, with um, with the hair on the back. Okay, now I'm going to remove some wood on the front of the ear, and yeah, it's going to go right up into the, the brim of his hat. Remember, the hat has to fit behind the ear. Oh, just more or less a rectangular block is all I'm going for there. Okay, everybody should have a, a square there, or a rectangle rather there now. So here's the trick. To make an ear, measure halfway across the bottom and create a mark. Halfway across, up the back and create a mark. And then join those two lines together. And that's going to be hard to see. Try a pencil here. I didn't get too flat a surface. So that becomes the back of the ear. Okay. And then all we got to do is knock off each corner. Can you see the shape of the ear in there? And I usually use a knife to, to remove that, so uh, yeah, before I cut it out. Alright, so then knock off the, the corners. This is the halfway. I'm going to have to use a V-tool to get access in there. More or less like that. Okay. And we can go uh, deeper in a minute, but to get that shape is critical. Okay, so let's 
move a, a little bit more along here. I want to point out uh, just a couple of things. Do you see how the the jaw comes off the bottom of the the ear here, and then the arm is joined on and it's kind of pushing against the back of his uh, his jaw. So in my finished one, you can actually see that that's more or less the case. I, I created a little bit more separation in here, but uh, the same idea. But So this area in here becomes quite flat, and by flattening out and getting rid of some of the material in here, then we create a, a better platform to work on the ear. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come in here and right up to the, the more or less the back of the ear, I'm going to level that playing field right in there and get rid of some of that material. Now I'm just using a, what is this, a number three gouge just to, to get the shape started. So now I've got a, a flat area in there to work with and then, then I'll work this arm in here eventually. So. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to guesstimate where the where that arm and the and the uh, the jawline kind of meet, and uh, I'll put a stop cut in there as well, uh, just a little one, just enough so I don't lose it. So there it is. So you can kind of visualize now that that's going to be. You know, the jaw is going to be shaped differently, obviously, but that will give you a, a handle as to where things are going to end up. Let's take a look now at the sideburn. Remember, this is all steps. It's like a relief carving in a lot of ways. So. Um, we've got to create a, a step down, so I'm going to create the bottom of a sideburn. Now, if you want to, was it Raleigh Fingers that had the big sideburns down years ago? You could create that, but whatever shape you want to have, I'll go with the pattern. And uh, you can see that the, the pattern indicates that the, the sideburn doesn't come down all the way. It just stops about there, stops about there, and... Uh, so I'll, I'll remove the material be below it. And by doing that, I'm relieving more material around the, the ear. I'm, I'm going to drop down the side of his face in, fact, in, in reality. So I'll get that done. And again, I'll just use a, a V-tool to, uh, to establish the, the side of the sideburn. So there it is there. And it can be as woolly as you want, I guess. So now I'm going to use my V tool and I'm going to start paring out a bit of wood around that and actually going to take away a bit of the material on the jaw too. Because eventually the jaw has to be kind of rounded to go back into the, the, the line, the back of the jaw line in here. So that side of the face has to be around it somewhat. Uh, so I'll spend a bit of time doing that. Just pick a gouge out that's going to work for you. And uh, leave a little bit of material. That jawline will likely change location, but good enough for now. That won't fit. something like that. So now 
I can see now that the brim of the hat is not going to fit underneath the ear. See, I got to get that up here so where the brim and the body of the hat meet, I've got to make that work. So you can use a, a curved line, it doesn't have to be a straight line. So all these things are being done to just to kind of fit the, the hat around the ear. So can you see that? So you can leave it, you know, low at the front because after all it's covered over most of its, most of its forehead. That creates the, the shape of it. Well, try not to knock the ear off like I just did. Okay. Okay, so in hindsight, I guess my ear is a little bit on the small side when I look at it, but that's the way it is. So now I want to do is I want to shape the top of the hat. So if you take a look at the hat itself, you've got a hat that comes around and it, the peak and the, the body of the hat meet somewhere around the sideburn and it can vary. And, but uh, coming up the side, see how it comes up nearly straight and then curves around? Likewise on the other side, nearly straight and curves around. I want to start creating that shape, but make sure you leave this hand. All right, so we're only working from the hand forward. We're going to shape that all the way down to the top of the ear and get that shaped. Okay, and I'll use a, a gouge, a combination gouge and knife to uh, get that shape going. Just get in there and don't be afraid to be a bit aggressive on that because we got to shape. The, it's as if he doesn't have a hat on. You've got to get that round shape established. Okay, so work at something like that all the way around. Okay, so there it is. I've got the the curvature put in there, and you see I've only done halfway. I only come up halfway. Now, if you want to have, you know, sometimes they have a flat spot in here where they put some sort of a logo in there. If you want to do that, you can do that. I'll pass this around so that'll give you an idea of where we're at. <laughs> 